Hi folks, in this session we're going to be discussing um, completing the square in terms of equations of circles. So let's get started. Oh, I guess you might want to know why we complete the square. Uh, it just gives you, you can use it to find the center of the circle and the radius of the circle. So here's an example. You've got a circle that has equation x squared minus 4x plus y squared plus 2y minus 4 equals 0. Find center and radius of circle. Now I'm just going to write the x squared minus 4x in a different color and I'm going to write the y squared plus 2y in a different color. And one other thing is I'll be just making getting rid of the 4 to make it a little bit more easier. Now the reason I've separated them into two different colors is because I want to complete the square with x first then I want to complete the square with y and then bring everything together in the end. So I'd like to complete the square just for the x first. Now if you remember with completing the square we look at the term of, well, we look at the coefficient of x and we divide it by 2. In this case it will be negative 2 and we square it. Negative 2 squared would become positive 4. So this could be rewritten as x squared minus 4x plus 4 and because we're adding 4 remember that we've got to take away 4 as well just so that it still stays the same as the equation before now what we could do is we could actually factorize whatever's inside the green part and you would end up with x minus 2 squared minus 4 in other words we have simply factorized the green bracket now on to the y part. So with y, now we need to complete the this equation here. Once again, the coefficient of y by itself is 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. Therefore, this equation could be written as y squared plus 2y plus 1 and minus 1 because that means it will again stay the same. Now what we could do is we could potentially factorize the yellow bracket as y plus 1 okay let's just get rid of that that this is way too far away so we could rewrite this as y plus 1 squared minus 1 now I'm gonna go back to that first part and I'm gonna combine both of these equations okay if you remember this was a, what our original equation was and we figured out that x squared minus 4x could be written as x minus 2 squared minus 4 and our y squared plus 2y could be written as y plus 1 squared minus 1 and of course all this is equal to 4 bringing all the constants together we should end up with x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 4 plus 4 and plus 1. So our final equation is going to be x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared equals 9. So the center of the circle center would be at 2 negative 1 and radius of the circle is equal to 3. Okay that's pretty much how you do completing the square um, to find the, the radius and the center of the circle. Alright, thanks for watching.